Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about uh, this particular project of growing Anubis plants immersed without water. I've started this uh, project uh, about a month ago. Here you can see a link uh, to how I launched this uh, project um, uh, three weeks ago. About three weeks. And uh, today I'm going to talk uh, about the progress uh, one month later and uh, I'm planning to actually end this project and I, I will explain why. So, initially my idea was to grow it uh, under natural light because we have a window here so there's lots of light that comes through and um, in this particular position um, this tank should get quite a lot of natural light which wasn't exactly the case because it's winter and uh, there's not much light outside so about a week and week and a half later I realized that plants they just don't get enough natural light so that's why I've, I've installed this LED lamp in here that's not a particularly strong LED lamp it's it's quite uh, small I think it has uh, about uh, 30 LEDs or something like that all right i've checked it very carefully now so what's happening with these plants certainly they're not dying they're not withering uh, there's not a single dead leaf in here there was no new leaves uh, i didn't notice any new leaf growth on this plant so they, they didn't start producing new leaves yet but they did start producing lots of new roots uh, you can notice here it's kind of setting up roots into the soil uh, there are more roots on most of these plants so they are certainly growing but they don't grow fast i think there might be two reasons why they don't grow fast first is temperature it's a room temperature here and uh, let's check the temperature it's uh, about uh, 23 uh, degrees celsius uh, which means inside it could be about 24 degrees celsius and i guess that's not probably warm enough for the Anubias and if I had a temperature at about 28 degrees Celsius I could probably expect higher rates of growth and so I, I believe it might be a bit too cool for them to grow too fast and uh, also maybe the season is not right it's winter now and if it was summer there would be lots of light it would be much much warmer inside of this room so they would probably grow faster the other reason is uh, that i realized that these plants they need to be sprayed with water and i'm using just a, i'm using this kind of a squishy bottle uh, they dry up really fast so they need to be sprayed with water at least twice per day i don't have a cover glass here i've said it in a previous video so i'm using this uh, plastic wrap for food to cover the top of the tank so you it's completely sealed off and there is no air that gets inside which is what it should be in order to retain all this humidity inside and it's actually very humid inside so every time i have to remove this uh, plastic wrap in order to spray them twice per day if i won't spray them at least once per day they will dry up really fast for example today and this is morning right now i didn't spray them yet and they look quite dry you can see that they are dry so they need to be sprayed uh, in my case i often forget spraying them even once per day because uh, i have lots of other things to do so it just stays like this and apparently they don't get enough hu humidity and that's why maybe they're not growing fast enough so if you're able to spray them once at least once preferably more than twice per day then probably they will grow faster because there will be more humidity here but it's clearly not in my case uh, because i don't have a good memory for that yes uh, so my conclusion is that anubias is certainly going to grow in these conditions immersed when you transfer it from your fish tank and you plant it in soil like this you provide it with high level of humidity and some sort of a lighting could be natural light could be artificial light it probably also needs warmer temperatures in order to thrive so something above 25 26 degrees celsius and it needs a lot of humidity it needs a daily spraying with water so under these conditions it will probably thrive i have transferred it here about three weeks ago and i can also i can already see that there is some uh, root grows there is no leaf grows but there is root growth so 
most likely they're feeling good here they're not surviving yet but if i probably keep them like here and i will continue spraying them twice per day and i will keep the humidity levels high i will provide enough light they will start growing but unfortunately i don't have patience to spray them twice per day so that's why i'm going to move them back to my various fish tanks and i'm going to terminate this project but the things that i've learned from this project is that it's very much doable but you need to set up the right conditions and above all you need a lot of patience to spray them with water if you have a cover glass your life will be much easier because you can just move the cover glass and you can spray it in my case i'll have to remove the sink and i have to put it back which is a lot of work and i'm clearly not very motivated to do that uh, twice per day so that's another reason why i haven't achieved a very good uh, growth rates in terms of this anubis but overall i'm quite satisfied with this experiment uh, the soil is always wet it's always moist it doesn't actually have any water on it it's just moist and wet you can see that it's not like completely soaked through with water it's just slightly wet uh, there is no mold there, there is no bad smell there is nothing wrong with this uh, there are no insects inside so everything is uh, perfectly nice in there and uh, smells really nice once you open it uh, it has a smell of this tropical rainforest inside which is really nice but yeah so it's just not something that I can manage because I don't have enough patience for that. So I hope this video was useful for you and I will certainly encourage you to grow Anubias Immersed uh, if you have opportunity or most importantly if you have patience to take care of it and you are likely to achieve very good results within a relatively short period of time. Uh, and uh, certainly leave your comments in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. So I will see you in future videos.